welcome, students. Today I will tell you what the World Wide Web is. Let's know about this in detail. The World Wide Web is a system of Internet servers that support specially formatted documents. The documents are formatted in a markup language called HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, that supports links to other documents, as well as graphics, audio, and video files. This means you can jump from one document to another simply by clicking on hotspots. Not all Internet servers are part of the World Wide Web. There are several applications called web browsers that make it easy to access the World Wide Web. Two of the most popular being Firefox and Microsoft's Internet Explorer. It connected the world in a way that was not possible before and made it much easier for people to get information, share, and communicate. It allowed people to share their work and thoughts through social networking sites, blogs, and video sharing. Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web in 1989, about 20 years after the first connection was established over what is today known as the Internet. At the time, Tim was a software engineer at CERN, the large particle physics laboratory near Geneva, Switzerland. Many scientists participated in experiments at CERN for extended periods of time, then returned to their laboratories around the world. These scientists were eager to exchange data and results, but had difficulties doing so. Tim understood this need and understood the unrealized potential of millions of computers connected together through the Internet. As the web began to develop, people started communicating and sharing more. They used social network sites and blogs. It became much easier to create your own content on the web and to share it. This new type of web became known as Web 2.0. Although the way people use the web has changed, the technologies haven't. Many of the technologies that ran the first web pages are still in use today. The web is still changing today. Search engines have become better at reading, understanding, and processing information. They have found clever ways to find the content we want and can even show us other things that might interest us.